We're coming at you live from Dominical, Costa Rica. The topic that I want to talk about today or that I've been contemplating recently that's come up in the most recent um, training that we've been hosting in Uvita is the power of manifestation which really comes to the importance of the questions that you're answering and the questions that you're asking. When I wanted to move to Costa Rica, move to the beach four years ago, I was really focused on the how. I didn't know how I was gonna make it work. And what I was doing was blocking out the what. The what is that I wanted to move here. But I was so focused on the how. How was I gonna make a living? How was I gonna move my stuff? How was I gonna leave my family? And then I really started to focus on the what. Selling my things, moving, applying for new jobs and opportunities in another country. Doors started to open, do, doors started to open up for me. And this, the same thing um, really started to happen for me when I was like, I wanna host yoga retreats. And I asked one of my breathing teachers, but I just don't know how, like, where am I gonna host it? Who's gonna come? And I was focused so much on the how. How was I gonna fill it? How was I gonna host it? How was I gonna feed the people? <laughs> Right? The most important part of a retreat is you got to feed the people. You'll, you'll understand if you've been to a retreat before. The food. It's, it's pretty much about the food. Um, but once I started to focus on the what, what did I want to have my retreats be about? What did I want to offer people? What were people going to receive when they came to my retreats? Again, doors started to open. I found where, I found who, and since then it's just been the unfolding. And my biggest dream of moving to Costa Rica was like this view. Um, I wanted an ocean view, but I wanted to be close to the beach. And I also wanted to be able to grow my own food. Um, and in Costa Rica that's challenging because you need to climb elevation to be able to get high enough to grow your own food um, as well as it's it's a hike up away from the beach you got to go up a, a decent way so it's it, then it becomes not close um, and all of that aside how was I going to afford it again focusing on the how and um, long story short this opportunity to live in this house opened up for me when I stopped focusing on the how, but I focused on what? I wanted to see the ocean. I wanted to be close to the beach. And as I, as I started journaling about this, I started writing about what? What is it that I wanted? And not only am I living in this place with this view for less money that I was living um, in a little local Tico house, but here I am where I literally get to watch the surfers catch waves and I get to see the stars and the sun when I open my eyes. And it all happened when I switched from how to what? Because when we start to ask how, it's like pushing it away. But I don't understand, I don't get how it's gonna happen. And it's like you're telling the universe like, no, I don't know. But when you're saying what, it's like this is what I want. This is what I want to see. This is what I want to feel. The universe hears you. And once I realized that it was so important for me to focus on what it was, that I was drawing these things into my life. And I've recently been doing these meditations in the morning. Right now I have a Meditate Every Day June challenge going on for the Disconnect to Reconnect Surf and Yoga Retreat that Dominical Wave, Dominical Wave Rider and I are hosting um, August 3rd through 9th, 2019. And what I've been focusing on in the morning is the power of creation. I think like how magical that it is we can create babies and when the mom is, is uh, growing this baby she's not thinking about how she's thinking about what what am I gonna eat what am I gonna do what, how am I going to 
with what am I going to serve my body to give my body exactly what it needs to create? She's not thinking about how the brain will develop or how the baby will grow its legs. Her body's figuring out the how as she figures out the what. And so every morning I imagine just drawing in from creation all the way down into the solar plexus, down into the vagina, and I plant seeds. What do I want? What do I want to see in my life? What do I want to feel? And as I start to feel these things in my body, the cells in my body begin to remember. They re re begin to remember what? What do I want? And so I invite you to check in. What do you want in your life? What do you want to feel? What do you want your days to look like? What do you want to do? And what are you going to do to make that happen? Think about the what. What do you want? The power of contemplating. What do you want to create in your life as a human being? You are a conscious creator. Don't worry about how that comes as soon as you define what. What do you want? I hope you have an amazing day. Namaste.